There are two editing modes you can use to craft your project in LumaFusion, Insert Mode and Overwrite Mode. These two modes hold various properties which control the behaviour of your timeline as you edit. Let's start off by exploring Insert Mode, which is the default setting for any new project in LumaFusion. In Insert Mode, your timeline works in a magnetic manner, where clips on the main track stay together as you edit. See here as I trim the end of this clip that media to the right of it follows in both directions up and down the timeline and enables you to make changes to your project without worrying you'll leave gaps on the main track or accidentally overwriting your other clips. See here when you place a clip between two others in insert mode, clips on the main track will automatically move out of the way to make room. In the same vein, if you delete a clip or reorder your footage, your clips will jump, or as we say ripple, back together, just like there are magnets between each clip. However, if you switch to overwrite mode by tapping the insert overwrite icon, your timeline will behave very differently as you edit. In overwrite mode, your main track loses that magnetic characteristic, which means any actions taken to a clip on the timeline will not affect any other pieces of media. Many editors like working in this mode as you get complete control over the position of your clips. See here as I'm trimming and deleting videos. The other clips on the main track stay where they are. These gaps are formed, which will leave blank areas on the timeline. In overwrite mode, media will be overwritten if the length of the clip is trimmed out over an existing clip. When you want to add new media to the timeline or reposition your clips, you'll notice clips do not move out of the way to make room. So placing media here will simply overwrite what's already on the timeline for the length of the new clip, detailed by this white box. Editors can switch between these two modes while editing, going back and forth by tapping the insert overwrite button as they wish. When you do this, you'll notice gaps on the timeline made in overwrite mode will exist as blank clips when working in insert mode that can be trimmed, removed or replaced. When looking to replace a piece of media in LumaFusion, simply drag a clip from the library or from another position on the timeline and hover over the original or blank clip until you see the yellow replace bounding box. When you let go of the clip, you'll be presented with different options of how you want to replace your media. If you have enough frames in your new clip, you can directly replace the source clip with the new media and keep the timeline duration, which essentially swaps one clip for another and will not affect the other clips on your timeline. However, at this stage, you're also given the option to insert the new clip in its entire duration. With insert mode, choosing this option will mean your clips will move up or down the timeline to make room for the new clip, leaving no gaps. In overwrite mode, you're presented with several options depending on the length of the new clip. If it's longer than the source clip, the new media will overwrite any frames on the timeline that are in its way. On the other hand, if it's shorter than the source clip, you can either overwrite the source clip for the duration of the new media or replace the source clip entirely, leaving a gap for empty frames on the timeline. Which editing mode you decide to work in is completely up to you a decision you can make based on how you like your media to behave on the timeline. Give both a go and choose your favourite, or flick between the two to reap the benefits of both. Mm -hmm.